Welcome. By the end of this video, you'll be able to add and edit music notes within MuseScore using the built-in piano keyboard. I will also show you how to edit notes and playback with the piano roll editor. Let's get started. So you're going to want to have MuseScore open. And I have a blank score here, so I'm going to want to start by adding some notes using the piano keyboard. So instead of uh, manually putting the notes in one by one uh, the, with the note input mode, I can use the piano keyboard for this. So in order to see the piano keyboard, we need to go up to view and then click on piano keyboard. You could also press the letter P on your keyboard to toggle between the piano keyboard and as well as hiding it. Now we have the piano keyboard on the bottom. Now, uh, if I were to just play the keyboard, it would just play the notes, but not insert any notes onto the score. So in order to add the notes in the score, what I need to do is go up to the note input mode, and that's the N, the N here. So I'm going to click on that, and now you'll notice it tells me where the note's going to be input. So right now I'm on the piano part in the treble clef, so that's where the note is going to be inserted. And I currently have a quarter note as the note to be uh, inserted. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and play. A C. So you can see it's adding the notes to the score by just playing the keyboard on the bottom. And so it will keep adding the notes one by one uh, as you uh, play the piano keyboard. Now let's say I wanted to insert notes with the violin part. Uh, the easiest way to do that is just to have the input mode, note input mode on and then uh, go ahead and just click the first note in right there. And I'm actually going to want to do a half note. So I'm going to go click on a half note and then let's go ahead and click a half note here. And now that I'm in the violin part, I can go ahead and finish by uh, clicking on the piano keyboard. So you can see I'm using the piano keyboard to create the violin line. And again, I'm doing half notes. One quick note about using the piano keyboard is that you'll notice you can only insert one note at a time and it will continue to progress through the piece. So if you input a note and you don't like that note, you can go back to it and then edit it by uh, clicking the note and then clicking the key on the piano that you would like. So see, I was able to go back, click the note, and then change the note by uh, pressing the piano keyboard. Now you'll notice I'm not able to create chords with the piano keyboard. If you know a way that you can create chords with the piano keyboard, please drop it in the comment section below. That'll be very helpful for all those that use MuseScore. But the next thing I want to show you is that you can save time uh, with your workflow by knowing the shortcuts for the values, the note durations of the notes you're inputting. So what I mean is right now I have a half note select. So each note that will be entered into MuseScore will be a half note but there are shortcuts for each of the notes. So watch as I press the number five on the keyboard. You'll notice that the quarter note was selected. So if I hover above this, you can see there's a number next to each one. And so that's the number on your keyboard. So basically that is the number on your computer keyboard that you could press while also using the piano keyboard. So right now I have the violin part selected. Let's say I wanted a quarter note. I'd press the number five and then now I can play the keyboard. And so a quarter note was added. Now let's say I wanted an eighth note. I can press the number four. Now that changes it to an eighth note that's going to be added. And I'm going to go ahead and press the next note. And now you can see an eighth note was added. I want another eighth note and then and so forth. So you can continue to use each of the computer shortcut keys as you are using your piano keyboard on the bottom so that you can easily uh, add notes without having to go back and forth by clicking the duration on the top and then clicking the keyboard on the bottom. So that'll save you a lot of time when you are creating your scores with MuseScore. So those are the basics in using the piano keyboard for note entry in MuseScore. Now I want to move on to using the piano roll editor. Now this is going to be familiar to those who are used to using a digital audio workstation. It's going to look like MIDI. Uh, but with a piano roll editor. So in order to do this, what I need to do is go ahead and turn off note input mode. So I need to turn it off. And again, the shortcut for turning in note input mode on and off is the N on your computer keyboard. So I'm going to turn that off. Now with that off, that means I can select certain parts of the score. What I'm going to do is I would like to look at this measure right here. So in order to select that measure, I clicked right in the middle of the measure, so somewhere in here. So again, if I go to another measure right in the middle, uh, if you click on a note, that means the note will be selected. That's not what we're looking for. We want to click right in the middle. When you do that, you can right click with that measure selected, and then you'll see there's a piano roll editor. This is the best place that you can find the piano roll editor in MuseScore. So I'm going to click on that, and you'll notice it'll bring up the piano roll editor for you to see the notes. Now the piano roll editor is showing you the MIDI input for each of the notes. And this is going to be helpful for the playback. So if you are creating a score that you are going to export as an MP3 file in MuseScore, this is very helpful because you can actually change dynamics. You can change uh, velocity uh, attacks of the notes. You can also change the durations of the playback uh, in the uh, piano roll editor. 
So in order to become familiar with the piano roll editor, you'll notice that you have uh, these notes in yellow. Okay, and now they're all yellow. That means I can edit them. So if I actually click this, they're all selected. I can actually drag them all up or down. So if you notice, uh, if I actually do that, it will change the notes. Go ahead and pay attention to the uh, notes on the score, right? And then the notes in the piano roll editor. So let's say I wanted the C. I would select the C. The note will turn yellow in the piano roll editor if it can be edited. So I'm going to go ahead and click that. And now I'm going to uh, go ahead and change that note to a D. And if you look in the score, it changed it to a D. So let's say I wanted to change that to a high C. I can go ahead and click on the note and drag it up to a C. And again, this will change the notes in the score that you're working on. Okay, so now we know how to select and uh, change notes within the piano roll editor. Now let's say I would like to add a note here. Let's say I wanted a chord here. The easiest way is really just to turn piano note mode on on the left uh, hand side, go into your score, and then just go ahead and click the other note. So now you notice I've got several notes here. And so I've got multiple notes that I can edit. Now with those notes edited, let's say I wanted to change any one of them, I can go ahead and drag the note where I would like it. Okay, so that's how you can see and edit the notes. If you want to play back, you can just click this uh, button here. And then you just click to stop the playback, you just press the uh, start button again. You could also press the space bar on your computer that will uh, go ahead and start and stop playback. To go back to the beginning, you just press this rewind. So we'll go back to the start position. And also I, I will need to scroll. So the scroll button right here to see everything is to, is uh, in the middle of the screen. So uh, you'll go ahead and uh, click on this to scroll. to scroll up and down on the piano keyboard. You can go up and down here. Okay, so now you know how to edit the notes with the piano roll editor. Now I wanna show you how you can change the velocity of the attack of the notes. So right here in the bottom of the screen, you'll see there is a duration. So let's go ahead and click a note. I'm gonna click on the C. Actually, let's do this with the violin part. That might be better. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, pick, pull up the violin piano roll editor. So I'm gonna just X out of this for a second. I'm gonna take go out of note editor mode and then just uh, find the measure, right click, Piano roll editor. Now I can see the violin part. And what I'd like to do is I would like to make the violin part louder than the piano part. So let's go ahead and click on the G here. And we have that selected. So down here, you can see the duration is the next thing uh, that I can work with. So I actually don't want to work with duration. I want to work with velocity. And let's do absolute velocity. You can change it by relative or absolute. And so I'm going to go by absolute. And so the first note right now is set at 80. So to change that, I would like to make that louder. So the larger the number, the louder it's going to be. So let's go ahead and change that to something a little louder, maybe like 100. And I want to press set. And so you can see this yellow line went a lot larger on the screen. Now, let's say I want to change the next note and let's make that note uh, softer so you can see the difference. So now we have that note selected. I changed it there and I'm going down to velocity and I'm going to go ahead and highlight the number. And let's go ahead and make that softer. Let's make it 20. And I'm going to press set. Okay, so the reason I did that is just so you can hear that to hear how loud it can get and how soft it can go. So let's go ahead and go uh, rewind this and play it from the beginning. You're going to hear the first note is going to be louder because I made the velocity uh, louder. And then the second note is going to be softer if it's the violin part because I made the velocity softer. So let's go ahead and play that. So you can hear the difference now in the playback with what is uh, occurring with the notes. You can also change the length of the notes with the playback. They will still show up as half notes, let's say in the violin part. They'll still show up as a half note, but you can change the length. And so in order to do that, you just go ahead and come down here to duration. And then you can change the duration uh, with the note that you have selected. And again, you can play around with these numbers. And then same thing as before, just press set with the duration you would like. Keep pressing play and rewind to get the right duration you want. And this is for playback. This is mostly if you're going to be exporting an MP3 file or a WAV file where you want someone to hear the music in a more musical way. Uh, and so the, uh, with the piano roll editor, you're able to change, uh, you know, velocity, duration, those kinds of things so that it sounds more natural uh, to someone who might be listening to it. A couple of things to notice with the piano roll editor. There are other things you can change. You can go over to the right hand side and you can change what voice you're working on. You just press these arrows and you can change the voice. So if you have multiple voices you're working with, you can change the duration of the note that you're working with and then uh, the key that you're in, the velocity offset, all that kind of thing. One thing I did want to show you is that if you go to MuseScore on their website, I'll put this link in the uh, description below. Uh, this is actually, they have a handbook on some of the features of MuseScore and they have one on the piano roll editor. So this gives you a brief overview on what to expect with the piano roll editor and how to use it. I'm going to keep scrolling down and you can see it shows you how to select the notes 
and those kinds of things. Uh, here's uh, how to do the navigation. And again, there are certain shortcuts that you can use. I didn't cover all the shortcuts uh, in here. I, I wanted to just bring you to this website and you can find all the shortcuts you would need. So that will speed up your workflow with the piano roll editor. Uh, how to select notes in the piano roll editor. Uh, using shift is uh, important as well, control. And then, and then if you keep scrolling, you can see there are uh, different uh, commands that they show you what they do. So what does each one of these things do? Uh, if you have any questions about that, you can come to this website, this uh, page, and it will tell you how to uh, what those mean. And I'm going to keep scrolling. And again, you can uh, customize the piano roll editor by going into the preferences as well. And then the keyboard shortcuts as well. So uh, I'll put this link in the description below. So you have um, the most information you can for the piano roll editor. So you now know how to use the piano keyboard and the piano roll editor within MuseScore. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comment section below. I do my best to answer those. I have other MuseScore tutorials available. I'll put links to them around this video. If you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe. I thank you and I'll see you in the next video.